I uh, just wanted to show you quickly how to determine what your grid cell size is. So here on the left I've got my grid open and you can see when I click on it, it highlights it on this left hand menu. Go to it in this left hand menu, go right click properties and here you can see grid points in x direction that's how many grid points are in x and grid points in y. Grid point separation, so this is actually my grid cell size and so it's very small um, if I go here the reason why you can see is because if I put my mouse over here in this bottom right hand corner it shows me I'm actually dealing in that long so the reason it's so small is because it's in degrees so it's easier if your um, grid is in meters so let me go down here this grid here is UTM 34 so I know it's in meters let me zoom out so here's this grid I put my mouse over it on this left hand side, go right click properties I can see here that my grid point separation is 0 0.183 meters so this is a bit random, you can see this is probably a default that Geosoft has used, it's not a value that I have used here I have changed this, uh, the station spacing when I did the gridding you can see in my file name I've put SS0.6 so if I double click on this grid here's what the grid looks like, pretty similar and if I go here, I go right click, properties, and now you can see I've got a station spacing of 0 0.6 and 0 0.6 in X and Y. And that was a value I actually used. So that's how you determine what your station spacing for your grids is.